Hello and welcome back to episode 16 of Royal 4 C Sharp as the Empire of Space Japan. Before we get into today's episode, uh, if you do want to support the channel, consider becoming a member. So this is liking, subscribing and all that good stuff, it really does help me out. Alright, let's continue. Where were we? Well, in the last episode we retook Arrakis. 11.15 million people liberated on the colony, as well as the installations located there. We are now beginning to recapture lost territories, which we unfortunately did lose um, during our time um, against the Raiders. And we did also lose in the last episode, Nerox, uh, which was a shame, uh, a definite shame. So Zitomir and Arrakis is now safe, uh, at least for now. It has a large force. We lost 100,000 tons of ground forces in the operation, uh, primarily from infantry-based forces. Uh, which were unfortunate, so to speak. However, uh, we are now uh, building them up. We're fortifying. We now have combat engineers available, which I'm going to begin training up more of. And we're also now training up a lot more forces in general. We nearly have heavy power in the which would turn the tide as well for our infantry forces. Uh, I want to begin devising the design of Imperial Guard regiments. Well, not Imperial Guard. Yeah, yeah more like Imperial Guard. Um, not in the 40k sense, but in the Imperial Japanese sense. So, uh, proper, um, the f best of the best, uh, divisions. I want to make a full-on, uh, large division for that. Uh, in the naval aspect, we consumed a lot of ammunition in our attempts to retake the colony. Uh, we also lost three vessels, um, the Etna, the Himalayas, and I believe it was at the Yangtze, I forget which was the, the destroyer. But we lost three destroyers in that engagement. We are in the process right now of retooling for the Yangtze Block 2, uh, which will then allow us to begin production of new Yangtze class vessels. We are producing the JNS Luthien, and we are also continuing production of various other ship designs, and we are waiting for research to be done, so that will allow us to begin um, to begin construction of larger uh, Block 2 cruiser types, uh, which we are currently awaiting for from the Aberdeen class, for example, which has a 750 EP, um, we're waiting for the fire control to be done, uh, which will be done shortly. And then we can start to churn them out. And then we also need to start production of larger vessels um, as quickly as possible. In that vein, we are going to need to obviously increase the capacity of this to 25,000 tons. Get that underway. Um, and uh, we should also have the new Blizzard class. Yeah, the Blizzard class here. Which we can actually update the armor of and then uh, give a little bit more fuel to. Uh, and who is going to be the new replacement for the carrier. The escort carrier is. Uh, but we are, yeah, we are done actually with that design. So we just need to begin retooling on that, uh, which we will do. So we will begin retooling for the Blizzard, uh, the CV Blizzard, which will be and we will be able to replace... Oh, we're not going to replace them, we're going to build in addition to The Soyuz will likely stay in service for, for longer, but they will be less used, uh, less important. Alright, um, we I also did combine some STO forces. We do have some STO forces currently awaiting. I'm just going to increment our long here and then go back in. Yeah, we have some STO formations currently active and ready to go. Um, but we still got to wait a little bit for them. Uh, so let's do some one-day increments here. Uh, we are trying to deliver maintenance facilities over here and turn on events as well uh, to Arrakis, uh, if I if I know myself correctly. I think we're moving them with normal uh, commercial shipping. Uh, yeah, we are. There they are. They they will be on the way here, hopefully. Uh, three infantry regiments trained up, and uh, we're going to keep doing five-day increments here. Um, here comes the JNS White. The JNS Great White needs to stop doing that. They need to stop using that for overhaul. Okay, Yangtze Block 2 just finished up, so we're going to be in construction. Now, the issue right now has to do with our Galasite. Uh, we're primarily using most of our Galasite right now, if we have a look, um, shipyard tasks. Uh, we are we are uh, requiring it a lot right now. Um, something that I'm going to halt the production of is missiles for this point. And we're, I'm going to begin expanding. We need to build more mines. I'm going to begin expanding Europa as quickly as possible. 
get as many mines as possible and start mining as much galacite as we can to fund uh, production of new vessels. Uh, right now, we're spending a lot of construction on getting that looting class out, and that's going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, the Great White needs to get the hell out of there because, yeah, leave overhaul, head directly to Seoul, refuel resupply, please. No condition, no condition. Same thing with you. No condition, no condition, no condition, no condition. Head directly back to Seoul and move to location, and then we're scrapping those vessels. All right. There's freighters now moving over uh, in structure. Our first salvager just finished up, and I know where I'm sending that. Uh, so the Balaban. Now we want to be retaking. Um, ideally, speaking, we want to be retaking our, you know, frontline areas, right? So we want to be taking uh, Alpha, the Alpha area over. Uh, right now, we can't really do that. Um, yeah, we can't really do that. Why do we have 56 maintenance facilities here? Jesus. Okay. Um, Maintenance facilities that uh, supply, we can add supply for this. Add supply maintenance facilities. We will supply 36 maintenance facilities. And we will demand them over here. Add demand, 36. Yeah, we need to retake Kareem. And to retake Kareem, we're going to need to grab our ground forces that are currently on the racket. Or formulate a new set of forces. Now, the 2nd, 3rd, and 3rd Battalion Battalions are pretty much okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deprive this, this division of its tanks, which you w usually wouldn't do, uh, but I'm going to deprive it of its tanks, and I'm going to take these tank battalions out, and then I'm going to move them. Uh, so I'm going to order Mobility Group 2, which is orbiting Arrakis, which has a total capacity of 100,000 tons. Um, no, let's do the larger one. We are going to move uh, these forces out, because we don't really need them. Um, so I'm going to order for two tank battalions and all their subunits to be moved. And we're going to take those over to Alpha, Alpha, unload those ground forces. Then we're going to head to Seoul and refuel. And then we are going to grab some STOs. But we're going to unload those tanks there uh, in preparation. There is Alpha right now, by the way, uh, which has, Kareem is sitting there with the ground, enemy ground forces on it. More STOs did finish up construction. Uh, so we can now begin adding those to where we want to add them to. Uh, so if I show elements and I show this, we can then begin adding. Uh, so 20, that gives us three STOs. So I'm going to rename these to, what is what do we call our STOs again? Yeah, there we go. Rename this. So PDF. There, we're going to rename these accordingly. Planetary Defense Force. Uh, PDF. And then do the exact same thing for these guys. And then we'll be moving those probably over to Arrakis, uh, because that is going to be the place that I want to have defensive defense of at the most. Um, but those three battalions are now sitting there ready to go. And uh, yeah, I believe, let's also get that, uh, no, we're really squadron two. You're orbiting Arrakis, let's get you the hell out of there and uh, have you heading over to Earth. Um, because there's no reason for you to be there anymore. Uh, which should give Arrakis some more space, so to speak. Uh, yeah, we just need to get a few more maintenance facilities onto Arrakis, and then we have enough to supply the tonnage there, which is very important. Uh, we're now having all our freighters come in, and they're going to be loading all those uh, maintenance facilities. Massive amounts of shipping coming in right now. All right. Uh, yeah, we also did finish up these supply vessels, which means that our carrier groups are going to have a lot more capacity to move things around. We're producing a ton more STOs, and we're also producing a lot more uh, larger or, uh, formations or larger uh, service store weapons. Uh, STO train on Earth. Completed orders. Crab has completed orders. The Great White is at Sol. Uh, let's begin scrapping because, again, I don't want any of these to uh, exist anymore. So, scrap. And that will give us some Galasite back as well. Uh, the Great White, how about you be quiet, please? Stop, stop. Stop right there. Commercial Freight Group is on the way. And uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, now, because of a lot of shipping going through here, what I am going to do is I'm going to have as our first operation. I'm going to refuel resupply from Earth, and then once you're done with that, uh, yeah, refuel resupply. And then I'm going to have you, so you only have 13.4 million liters. So we only have that much fuel on Earth. I guess not. Oh, we haven't finished refueling yet. Uh, that was Naval, Naval Mobility Squadron 1. 
So what we'll have with Neo Mobility Squadron 1 is we will have you head over and load up uh, surface or weapon battalions. So one, two, three. We will load those up. I'm going to take those over to Zitamir. I'm going to unload those onto Arrakis. Then I'm going to head back to Sol and refuel. So that provides 60 guns. Um, and hopefully they'll be able to also give them enough maintenance there. All right, Plenishment Squadron 1 is done now. So they have the fuel and the ammunition. We're going to have them join up with Carrier Strike Group. Now, Carrier Strike Group 2, 26 F4s. Yeah, because I believe, if I remember correctly, we did lose some F4s there. We'll replace those. Get those replaced immediately. God, that's a lot of uh, uh, stuff we need. Uh, I believe we need how many replacements? 12 per. We lot, We got 26. So we need, we need 10 F4s. So 61 to 70. Grab those, that's 10 F4s, and then we are going to divvy those up accordingly uh, into the carrier group. So, Superior Squadron, that's got nine. So, if we go over here to 10, we're going to leave three of these and then bring those over into this. That gets us 12. This has a five. So, we're going to need to put all of our fighters now in here. So, five. That gives us 12. So, that gives us all the stuff we need. All of our cruisers are good. We're going to have them uh, load up ordnance, and we're also then going to have the replenishment in space squadron, the China join, and you will refuel own fleet and you will resupply own fleet as well. Very good. Uh, you can also fit on the. I forgot to add these to the support vessels. Yeah, the rescue shuttles. I believe we have a few of those currently available. Um, if I remember myself, yes, we do. So I'm going to add in these two. We're going to have them uh, be created as a squadron. So we'll create a squadron under the China. We will create a um, uh, fast response squadron. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. Fast response squadron. One. And uh, we will call these the um, uh, retrievers. Is a good name after golden retrievers. Uh, and we will then grab over our support vessels. So let me just uh, close these so I can actually see. Uh, yeah, close these. Support vessels, fight three. And those have landed. So now carrier strike group two is ready to go. Um, and we are going to then auto route. So those, they should have a lot of ordnance we loaded into. Let me check Earth. How much ordnance do we have available? We have quite a bit of ordnance available. Uh, we are then going to begin moving over to Alpha. We're going to move to um, Kareem as the primary target there. But because of that fuel, uh, the, the fuel uh, that's being provided, we shouldn't have too many issues now with moving there. Um, assuming you're actually going to refuel your own fleet, which you should do. Uh, DDG, DDG, CV. China's not using any. What do you mean? Why are you not re refueling? We fuel own subfleet. How about that? How does how does that work? We supply own fleet. Okay, no mobility squadron done. Again, the old the refuel is still not happening. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's not able to do it fast enough. Carry strike group two. Again, yeah, head to your location. The mobility squadron. Uh, no mobility squadron two. You are now at Earth, and you can be moving stuff around as needed. We are waiting for more stuff to be built, as I said. Uh, we also move those tank battalions over. We currently have on Earth, we have approximately an infantry regiment. So we have about 50,000 tons ready to go. We're going to need more than that, though. Uh, specifically, we're going to need... Uh, these infantry battalions need replacements, really. Uh, we also need more mechanized infantry as well. Uh, to replace those that are in combat right now. Um, so we might want to start bringing these guys home. Mm. Uh, we'll, we'll wait on that until we get some more forces. All right, five research labs left at Earth. I believe that was done with our ground combat that we just finished up research with. Yes, I do believe so. Um, we are going to go for... in. The, well, yeah, we're going to get some research in. And we are going to get some research into ooh, 
Can we get some capabilities, maybe? Now, we need to send some fire controls research, really. Uh, so I'm going to just add in to power propulsion. Let's get some, yeah, yeah power propulsion, actually. And let's just get all these drives that we need research done. We've got so much to do. But then we did just finish up the new heavy padding shower, which gives us two times the armor now. And we also have now 10 armor, which means we can match our opponents. So we're going to create proper Imperial um, Guards. Uh, so what, what we're going to call these, we're going to call these Imperial Guardsmen. Uh, and we're going to do this for 0031. And we're going to create improved personal weapons. We're then going to create a light anti vehicle variant. So this will be LAV. Create. We're going to, or we're also going to create, I think, do we want to crew served now? Not crew served yet. Um, improved personal weapons. They've got the heavy pattern of and so now they have 20 armor. Um, and then, yeah, that, that's what I want. So that, those infantry are now readied. We will grab the lamps back, actually, and we will begin research into that. So let me go over to ground combat. Let me go over here. Let's do five labs. And let's get Imperial Guardsmen uh, ready. So we'll get those under research. And uh, they shouldn't take too long. But the Kaishok group is now in the area, uh, which is good. Iron Drive completed research. I don't remember exactly which one this was for. Also, what was going on with our frigate shipyard? We nearly are done with that, which is good. Um, in terms of our production on Europa, how is that coming along? Um, yeah, how is that coming along on Europa? Running out of of of, uh, of infrastructure, um, so we need to produce more infrastructure to do stuff with that colony. So I'm going to reduce mine production by thirty percent, and I'm going to begin construction of infrastructure. Uh, we'll build, produce another two thousand infrastructure at thirty percent. We did also finish up, well, we're going to finish up mining production 12 tons, which should obviously improve the situation pretty significantly. Uh, Carry Strike Group 2 is now where, uh, sitting above here and refueling. I guess it's just the amount of refueling it takes. Uh, but the entire carrier group is now all right. Uh, let's continue our, you know, we're scrapping some vessels. How is the mining situation? Stockpile is running out quickly. Um, and we have paused production of new missiles because of it until we can get those resources shipped over. Um, so we currently have, over on Talos, we have two tank battalions ready to go. Now, they are going to need... That doesn't have a regimental HQ anymore. <laughs> um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is, do I have a naval mobility squadron available? I do, on Earth. Not enough capacity, though. Um, once you're back... Yeah, once you're back, we will... Uh, who'll give you some new orders, but we're going to need a lot more infantry forces. Okay, there's Imperial Guardsmen done. And uh, there's more STOs been built. And uh, more freighters on the way as well. And it uh, looks like our fuel harvesters are not doing too good of a job. Uh, let me look at Earth then. So Arrakis, we now have 50 units facilities. We now have the capacity to maintain the ships in orbit, which is good. So which means that uh, if we go over to Alpha, good system, the Sewer Torsion 2 can do a job. What happened to that Balaban, by the way? Oh, there it is. Detach you. Bring you over to commercial um, Navy Harvest. This will put you under. We'll head you over to Zitomir, and then we're going to go over and deal with some wrecks. Um, start with the largest one. Start salvaging that wreck. You've got, a, you've got a lot to do, that's for damn sure. Standing orders. Uh, we can set these up. Uh, salvage nearest wreck. Fuel less than 50%. We fuel a colony. Uh, and then once you've salvaged, can we unload passengers, load all main mine for population, land on the same mothership, got us a lot more now. Um, there's not much I can do, I've kind of got, I've just got to wait for that. But we're going to send that, that guy over, um, so yeah, we're going to send, we're going to send the salvager over and see what we can find, uh, research on the way, and, uh, let's just keep incrementing along here. But yeah, that does mean that, okay, four anking block two is just completed construction. Uh, let's keep the stock pack. Let's not produce any more ships for now. Europa's currently producing a lot of resources, but they actually can't um, move them all over. We're going to need another mass driver. Uh, we don't have one available. 
So I'm going to need to reduce this and start producing some mass drivers because we don't have the mass driver to move the resources over. What was going on with our fuel harvesters? Uh, fuel harvesters. You have 38 million liters of fuel, but you're not actually getting enough fuel moved over. Okay, then I'm going to have to have some uh, tankers join with you. So I'm going to have... So that, that means you can transport that many liters of fuel. How many liters of fuel do you, you make? You 26 million liters of fuel a year. I mean, you make 30 million liters a month. So we will we will do this then. We will we will see if that will help with the extra tug on the extra tanker. My bad. Uh, five research labs. What I'm going to use with that is ground combat, and we're going to begin getting the next construction rate because we're going to need it. Uh, let me go over to our ground forces and begin designing some new formations. We only need to clean this all up. Um, so what I will do uh, is we're going to create a new formation, and we're going to call it uh, Imperial Guard. Um, uh, assault Battalion. And these are going to have, uh, these are going to be uh, IG. So these are going to be most, um, most important. And what these guys will have is they will have the Imperial Guardsmen. So if we go over to here, so these will be our most expensive. And we're going to have these go up to, we're going to need, I think, 160. Eight, if I remember the number correctly, and then no, 158. I was nearly correct though, and then go back, do that, and we're gonna go for now the uh, light anti vehicle as well, and then also the regimental headquarters. Well, no, the not regimental, but the, the colonel. Um, 10,000 tons. Create one. There we go. And then we're going to create, so we already have the, uh, we're just going to, I'm going to rename this to Regimental Headquarters. There we go. And we'll just use that instead. But no, 10,000 tons. Uh, they have a 25% they higher cost, but uh, they're going to have a lot more armor and a lot more HP that they'll be able to deal with. And then we will... Fit out proper then with we'll make entire Imperial Guard divisions that will have primarily tank battalions and Imperial Guard uh, forces. Um with the purposes of striking the enemy. Being the first boots on the ground. Um, and we'll use those for our most uh, important operations. Um Okay, JNS scrapped at Earth, which is good news. So we're gonna scrap the next vessel. So, JNS, XC, Great White, let's scrap that. Luthien is 70% completed. Uh, what's our mining situation look like? We are maintaining at this point. Uh, Europa is getting is going to hopefully be able to get some more infrastructure moved um, to the colony. So, I'm going to order, let me have, so I have, I'm going to have five, four of these, because they have uh, 25,000 tons per. We're going to rename this, we're going to move these guys over to this group make these part of this group and then we're going to have them begin loading up infrastructure and then taking that over to Europa and refueling and I'm going to have that be done as much as they can to get that infrastructure moved. New hostile ship contacted in Seoul. Nitro 002. Okay that's a that's a large vessel. That's a large vessel. We may be in for a real situation right here. Now what do we have available to defend? Carrier strike group 2 has its entire force we're ready to go but it's orbiting kareem right now um it can reach Seoul in 6.2 days i'm going to order it to do so because this is likely going to mean that this is not a um not a drill now they will come out over in alpha so they'll take some time uh, to reach earth they will take approximately 13.4 days i will order them to move as quickly as they can Carry Shaggy 1 is orbiting Earth, but they do not have a full-on uh, group ready. We have Destroyer Squadron 2 uh, orbiting Arrakis right now. Destroyer Squadron uh, 3, which is orbiting currently orbiting above Earth. And it doesn't have any ammunition ready. So we're going to have to leave this up to Mass Fighter Doctrine. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to uh, Carry Shaggy 1. We need to get all of the old fighters out. So I'm going to get all of these old fighters. Okay, detach these. And we're going to move them into the fighter reserve. Okay. Then we are going to grab as many of these F4s as we got. We have 26 of them. So that gives us full 
uh, two full squadrons of, uh, of fighters, which is not a lot. Um, so we're going to then detach these. I'm going to then halve. That's a little bit too much halve. Detach those. We're going to assign one there. And then we're going to assign the next one to the sparrows. So those are ready. Now do the F. We do have fighters though. So we do have the F3Bs. We have some of them currently loaded and ready to go. How many of those? That's 10. Okay, we're going to add them to there then. So we're going to have the F3Bs ready to go. They'll only be able to fire once. Um, yeah, okay. In terms of carry reserve, we have another Akagi we can put into service immediately if we need it. Uh, we don't have any ammunition on this vessel. Um, yeah, so that gives us those two full squadrons of forces. Uh, F3Bs. Oh, we do have some other F3Bs available which we can detach uh, and then put in directly in. So I'm going to have you go bluebirds go right there you're ready to go um yeah i mean what do i have available right now that's not that's got any ammunition i mean you are way too far away you guys have ammunition so the yank okay so cash group one we have ammunition on the, this yank scene we also have ammunition on the other one we have some other ammunition available um yeah we're gonna need to be able to defend ourselves here it's gonna be hard uh so cash group one is ready to go Carry Strike Group 3, not very ready to go. Uh, the Calm does have some ammunition, though. We have a bunch of outdated old fighters, which we're going to then detach. I'm going to put these into Fighter Reserve. With the remaining Fighter Reserve, what do we have that we can press into service? We have a lot of F2s we can press into service, which is, might be what I do. Uh, we also have F4s. Uh, we have a squadron of 9 F4s, which I'm going to put into the Ant Lines. And then I think we're going to have to... Uh, with the rest, we'll be able to put in... Let's put in a squadron of F3s. Which are the ones we're not building anymore. And then we'll have to put in another squadron of F2s. Because we don't have anything else. So, yeah, F2. Yeah, attach those. And then we're going to put those directly into uh, the line of duty. Okay, those are all ready to go. Uh, so we're going to have both carrier strike groups begin immediate response towards the contact. The guy strike group 3 and carrier strike group uh, 1. Mew 2 location. And uh, yeah, this might be a significant invasion. Uh, we need to make sure access sensors are on for the entire group. Access sensors are on. Um, and then also do the same thing for carrier strike group 3. Actives on. Okay, they're on the way now. Both carrier strike groups should be able to deal with this relatively easily. We're going to require a lot of coordination and a lot of forces. Uh, new hostile ship contacted two Flint class vessels. Where the hell were those detected? Flint. Uh, give me contacts. Give me lost contact. Hmm. Uh, what kind of detection? 2,000 kilometers per second. We have not seen those kinds of vessels before. That's very odd. Nitro is heading our way now. Both carrier strike groups are coming up. And we have reached target. Target does appear to be alone, but we're going to continue to close until we get more information on target. Two flint class vessels going at pretty slow speeds. Uh, we've not seen these before. We don't know of their capability. Okay, what do I have available to me? Let's just close all of these up. Okay, so carrier strike group one. We have the Yangtze currently available in its missile capability. Uh, we also have the other Yangtze available. Cash Group 3, we have the Aberdeen available. All right, we're going to have... Uh, oh, not the Aberdeen, the Calm. We're going to have the Calm also science fire control and get ready to open fire with its missiles. Uh, we have 82 missiles available. Uh, we are going to target the Flint class vessels with both of these. And we're going to see the effect that we have with approximately, I'd say, 16, um, 20 or so missiles per. Uh, it does look like it. 11.4 milli kilometer is maximum distance. So I'm going to order both carrier strike groups to hold their position. The hold position. And we're going to have them begin to uh, ha uh, send the calm uh, directly forward. Uh, and I'm going to give it... It doesn't have the short escort, but we're going to send you directly forward to the contact. Follow. At due haste. 
and we're going to have it go and see what it can do about the enemy vessels. We're going to keep the active sensors on. We are now within range. Okay, the uh, calm will uh, do the honors. Open up. So let's go for Flint. And uh, yeah, Flint 0011, Flint 001, open fire fire controls on both. Sync fire on, please. So fire all at once. 26 missiles away from both. They are now on the way. Here we go. Boom, two detonations. Uh, we took three energy weapon impacts, so they seem to be a larger, more anti ship based uh, vessels. Um, one of them was immediately disabled. All right, uh, calm, open up on the other one. Uh, we will have LCRMs available, so I'm going to assign all... No, no, no. Ceasefire, ceasefire fleet. Assign all um, these fire controls, get them down here, and then I'm going to open up with LCRMs. Now, we should have full... L oh, we don't have full LCRMs available. We have all of these Arashis available, however, um, which we can then open fire with. Uh, so I'm going to probably be back right now because I'm going to try and... Uh, Oh yeah, also assign your fire controls again. We're going to move these single use fire controls out. And then I'm going to fire these off towards... Which was the flint that still survived? Uh, flint 012 has new target speed. Flint 011 then. Uh, we will open up on uh, target acquired. And open fire on target. Uh, we will launch a squadron to go and... Uh, attack those uh, so carry strike group one we will launch two we will launch the eagles and sparrows to be immediately um sent in to deal with the enemy uh, so i'll have you both join together uh, so eagles join the subfleet head towards the contact at full speed well you might that might not be alive by the time you get there so follow contact as far as possible um What's going on with the calm? Can you not open fire? 1.19 million kilometers we have to get within range of. Excuse me. Um, ah, I know why. Because that fire control is bad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, so we're just going to get all these missiles out of the way here. Uh, and those missiles out of the way. And we're going to now redesignate these missiles. So those are now available. Fire on the flint one. Fire, fire control. Missiles are away. There's 18 of them. Boom. And the other flint has been destroyed. Um, that's pretty damn good. Uh, that other flint is still sitting there though. Uh, we might not need the fighters at all actually. Uh, cease fire fleet. And uh, what do we have available to us? Uh, we have an LTRM available. We have 12 Arashis available. Um, but I'm not in a position really to fire them off. Uh, assign all. Move these over. We'll get. We'll, fi we'll fire the, the rest of the Arashis off. Um, I'm being a little bit gung-ho here. But uh, open fire fire control. Fire the missiles. Missiles away. Uh, let us just pause before we uh, have a look at that missile engagement. And missiles are firing off. Boom. Wreck of the enemy ship. Commander Yushitimi Hanna was awarded a medal for that. And then we will have you pursue the enemy contact at immediate uh, presumption. And destroy it with your primary gun system. Uh, let us land uh, both of these squadrons now back at the carrier. Because it does appear that we do not need them. Um... For, to assist at all. Uh, so we will land on assigned mothership. Now go back and land. And uh, we will now begin pursuing the enemy vessels. Uh, on the way. This will actually be the first time in a while that we will have used. Eagles, why are you heading towards it? No, 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 no. no. Go back to your carrier strike group. But now this will be the first time that we'll actually use the larger gun that we have available on here. The 155mm. Uh, Spirit Squadron has landed. We're nearly within range now. And uh, there we go. We are now right on top of the enemy. Uh, calm. Uh, you have the honors. Open fire. Uh, let me just go to our beam fire controls. 
take this one, this millimeter off, and start opening fire with our six inch gun. Open fire, fire controls, uh, beginning penetrations now. Four penetrating kits, more penetrating kits, and we're continuing to hit it more and more. Boom. Yeah, we're blowing its engines out right now. And massive power explosions just were caused, and it's now pretty much sitting a duck. And enemy ship destroyed. 125,000 ton ship. That was probably carrying an entire ground force. Head back to Carrier Strike Group 3 and uh, join the fleet. Uh, Carrier Strike Group 3, you will stay here for now until your ship be joined. You will move to your location. Actually, yeah, we can just move them both back um, because we're not that far away. Move back to Earth. Successful. Uh, very, very successful uh, combat right there. Um, very, very impressive. The Calm did that all on, on its own. Uh, destroyed three enemy ships. Destroyed 140,000 tons of shipping. Uh, so we will begin having you head back. But it is worrying that they are trying to intervene now. And in memorandum for that, we have the Aberdeen uh, Class 2, which we should be able to begin uh, retooling for. Uh, to begin retooling for the Block 2s. Uh, so Aberdeen, uh, Block 2, we can begin retooling efforts for once we've got that shipyard capacity up. Uh, Carrier Strike Group 1 has now reached Earth. Um, fleet research into mining. So that will be uh, sensor fire controls done. I'm going to have five labs on that constantly, no matter what. And I want those active sensor improvements. I want uh, fire control improvements. I want a bunch of different things from that. We're going to improve our ground force research. And we're going to then continue research into missile and kinetics weapon research. Cash Group 2 actually didn't even need to arrive, but uh, I did preemptively order it to move over uh, because I was concerned that there would obviously be a situation um, there uh, with the enemy forces. Thankfully, that was uh, not the case. Uh, Europa, now we are trying to get more, more colonists being able to move over. Commercial Fight Group 3... I believe you were moving over a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were moving over um, the maintenance facilities to Arrakis, which now has them available. Um, we also, we need to use some of our, we'll have to wait, but I need to use some of the industry for some other things that I want done. Another Nitro class vessel has been detected at Earth. Um, very well. Uh, Carrier Strike Group 1. Uh, go and uh, have a look. Uh, so, contacts, follow. And two flints as well. Another strike group uh, coming in. Not sure why they've been renamed to the flints. Uh, I guess these are new, uh, not new vessels, but they, they should be something similar. I'm not sure why. Open intelligence window. Battlestar civilian ships. Um... Is, should be the correct. Oh, they their names have been completely changed. <laughs> so the Flints are just the uh, yeah they they're just the uh, general and travelers. Um, but yeah, they they've got escorts for some reason. Or carry strike group two can uh, head in that direction. Uh, oh, are these salvagers? They might be. Okay, carry strike group one. Continue heading towards contact. We've lost that contact. Um. Head to that new waypoint. Go have a look. Go have a look. New hostile ship contact detected. There it is. And uh, we can continue to follow that. We are faster, of course. Head towards the contact. Follow contact as quick as you can. And we'll give our fighters some glory, um, I think. So, fire... Uh, the Great Seatkin, uh, which I believe I need to reevaluate myself, which what the ship classes are called. That is the ca uh, Caprica that well used to be the Caprica. Um, another Nitro class vessel. All right, uh, what we will do then is I'm going to have. Um, if we disable the Geminons or the 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 uh, the Flints, we can then send in uh, cruisers to go uh, destroy them. Uh, so you guys can fire 48 missiles, so we'll fire 24 both, superiority squadron, head towards contacts, follow contacts within 1 million kilometers. 
the 1 million. And uh, what I am going to do then is I'm going to detach six of these. Detach them. Have them join up as part of a subfleet. And then we're going to begin our approach. Here we go. So we go squadron on the way. And they need to get within 1 million kilometers, of course, for their missiles. Because they have the short range of Rashis. They don't have the long range ones. Um, but these are much more powerful in terms of uh, actual capability. Uh, follow within 1 million kilometers. Uh, we are... Yeah, we are about within that range now. All right. Uh, open up then. So, uh, you also assign your fire controls. Uh, Rashis are assigned, assigned fleet. Uh, we are going to have you open up on this flint, and then we're going to have you open up on to this other flint. Now, we want to make sure we should be in range enough for this, but uh, we'll uh, assign you subfleet, assigned fleet, and then 040 assigned subfleet. Open fire the fleet. Fleet sync on. Fleet sync on. And uh, let's wait for the ordnance to occur. Missiles are away. Boom. Okay. Nuclear detonations right there. Uh, good hits. Um, and uh, they managed to... One of the ships was immediately disabled. However, another one still remains. Another flint. Uh, so I'm going to order, what do I have available for me? LCRMs can fire at that. Uh, so we will have the squadron head back to the mothership. So head back to, we're going to detach you. Oh, actually, we just put you back into this. Detach and join. And then land back at Carrier Strike Group 1. Uh, Stefano, what do you have available to you? You have one LCRM available. You have no LCRM available. Carry Strike Group 2 doesn't have anything because we just got Carry Strike Group 1 here. Um, Carry Strike Group 1, we are going to have the Stefano and Ariel and then the this Yank C-Class vessel head towards the contacts. Follow Nitro. Head towards contacts. And we are going to then have them eliminate the remainders. But no, good, good showing from the superiority squadron right there. Uh, oh yeah, Carriage Rate 1, you can hold your position, please. Um, yeah, we can then come up here and we'll deal with the, uh, the Flint in a little bit. Uh, the Flint, of course, not our target really. Um, but we can let it there, we can leave it there to rot for now. Uh, before we open up on it again. Okay, Arashi, we're close in now. Carry Strike Group 002. So we will now open up. So Yangtze. Uh, we have five cells available. Six, seven, eight. We will fire eight cells at the another flint. Uh, maximum zero, max zero K. Oh, we don't have uh, weapons <laughs> assigned. There we go. Max 11.4, open fire, fire control, uh, sync fire on, please. And let's turn access on because it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Boom, missiles away. And three penetrating hits. And new target speed not changed. So it looks like that was not enough missiles. Uh, so I will now assign new missiles. So I'll reassign those. And then we will have to assign new ones. Uh, so I'll be right back. Here we go. Missiles should now be away. Missiles away. 16 of them. And splash. Enemy ship has now lost power. All right. Uh, let's send the fleet in then. Uh, we are going to go and deal with the contact. We're going to go in and follow the nitro. At full speed. Now the enemy ship has been disabled. Um... Should we, should we finish it off? Probably. Um, yeah, probably. Uh, let's have the Stefano finish it off. It's got 17 Arashis available to it. Uh, assign all. Fire controls. Uh, and uh, let's just be a little bit uh, hang and dance with it. Uh, hit Flint. Open fire, fire control. 
and uh, fire those off, please. Uh, and then I have to, uh, unfortunately, cease fire. There we go. Cease fire the fleet. Missiles away. Boom. Ship destroyed. And uh, now let's uh, begin chasing the enemy target. Uh, now, we want to remain within uh, 45,000 kilometers-ish. Um, so, contacts. Nitro, follow. 45,000 kilometers. And then we will begin opening up with our 6-inch guns. No reason to expend missiles on such a large target. Um, it's, uh, generally speaking, a waste of firepower. And also, the Great Sakin should not be able to fire back at us. Um, because it's got 10,000 kilometer or 40,000 kilometer range weapons compared to the other vessels. And uh, we are also faster than them at the moment, which is uh, fantastic news for us. Okay, let's open up. So take those over. 155. And then, yeah, assign fleet. Same thing with you. We're going to take in and put in our 155. Unassigned weapons. 155 on that. Target is the uh, Great Seek. Uh, assign fleet. And fire fleet. And then same with you. Uh, open fire on this ship. Open fire fleet. Uh, oh, I need to actually have assigned that. There we go. Uh, opening fire then. We should begin firing at that ship. And it can't hit us, which is uh, what we want to see. Oh, we're, we're taking some hits. Uh, it dropped out. It's a smart little thing. Okay. Um, hold your ground. We just suffered some hits. That Stefano actually suffered some serious armor hits. Uh, kill it now. Um, no more, no more messing around. Forty-seven Arashis available. Uh, fire those as soon as you can. I'm not going to allow one of our ships to die here. BLS cells available. Assign our ashes. Ready? Fire on the Great Sin. Open fire fire control. Oh, we need to actually you know, maybe put a target in. Uh, Great Sin. Fire. Missiles away. Destroyed. Good stuff. Okay, go in on contacts, move to, follow. Oh yeah, follow follow contact. And then start opening up on Nitro. Sign fleet, do the exact same thing over here. Cease fire, fire control. Nitro, assign fleet. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, we destroyed the enemy ship. Enemy ship destroyed. Good job. And then let's have you head back over to Carrier Strike Group 1. Um, join Fleet. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll have to finish off that other ship that's still in the field. Uh, that Knight, that Flint's vessel. Um, what do I have available to do that? The Calm should have some missiles available, no? One LCRM, that's not going to be enough. Uh, Carry Strike Group 1, what do you have available for you? Uh, the One of the Yang Sea Stars ammunition, that's fine by me, 17 missiles. Um, assign target. Uh, we're going to assign, I'd probably say 4 missiles, honestly. I don't think that we need too much more, because that'll be 16 damage on. I mean, I doubt it really has the capability to defend against anything else, so we'll just buy that off. Um... Oh, yes, we do need to obviously cease fire on these. Cease fire fleet. Oh, can it not be attacked? Oh, yes, that might be because it's not in range. <laughs> uh, follow contact. Move towards contact, please. That should uh, fix our little issue. And then uh, we'll just open up. Missiles away. Four Nico detonations. What did they do? Three penetrating hits. Um... Again, target is just sitting there. Uh, let's have the eagles go and mop it up. Go towards contact. Move to. Weapons free. 100 millimeter cannon. Flint as target. Sign fleet. Open fire fleet.
Enemy ship destroyed. No problems at all for us there. And all ships are also good to go. So we'll send them back over and land on their mothership. And uh, yeah, pretty successful overall there. Uh, we managed to destroy the enemy uh, vessels pretty easily. Um, so we'll now get back to the fleet. Um, but those that's a lot more enemy ships destroyed now. And uh, I'm going to have the carrier strike group now head back home. Uh, so we move to location uh, as quickly as possible. But no, very good operation there for us indeed. Uh, oh, we need to uh, cease fire on some of these targets, looks like. Cease fire point. Yeah, just make sure nothing is firing. I don't think anything is. There we go. Carry strike group now arrived. Uh, complete research to launch reload rates, which is good news. We're getting ordnance production now on the way. How is the Galasite situation? We're still maintaining where we are. Uh, Europa, we're trying to get some more people moved over right now, but it's, uh, it's going to be hard. Uh, and we're producing as many resources as we can get our hands on. Carry strike group 2 has arrived back at Kareem, which is good news. And uh, we've got some more STOs built. We're building more infantry battalions now. And, uh, yeah. So far, so good. Another Nitro detected. Hmm, I think the salvaging... I think it's the Rex. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah. I think that's what's going on. Alright, I think that's where the end of the episode off. I guess have enjoyed. Um, we're under attack in Seoul, but we're, it's a bit weird. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Please don't like, comment, subscribe, it really does help me out. Goodbye.